All right, what's going on YouTube? Um, I just kind of want to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on this whole PS4K Neo, PS4K, PS4.5, PS4K greatness of weights machine, whatever you want to call it. But first off, where have I been? Well, uh, it's kind of a long story. Long story short, um, the majority of the hotels I've been in lately, the audio has been terrible. Like the echo is crazy, and and this mic for some reason, this Blue Yeti uh, microphone I have, like real bad echo. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the video, but it, it really gets on my damn nerves. So I haven't really been making videos at all in about the last month but i'm gonna try to uh get back on track with that and get back into it again i've lost like two subs so now i'm like down to nine but you know i, I know i wasn't gonna get a thousand subscribers overnight so i just gotta be more um be more consistent you know with my content and stuff like that but anyway on to the point so it's come out that um, there will be a upgraded P uh, upgraded PS4, kind of like the the PS3 Slim was, kind of like a, a mid cycle refresh. But instead of just being smaller and maybe more efficient, it's gonna have upgraded hardware. And you know, from what I'm reading, as far as the CPU, it's just uh, basically the same CPU, just overclocked. I don't know. It doesn't have any kind of um, improved uh word of my word of my looking for i'm drawing a blank any kind of uh improved efficiency anything like that i don't know but and the memory is this is still a gigs gddr5 but the memory is a little bit faster going from going from 176 gigabits per second up to 218 gigabits per second which is a pretty good jump but i think that the biggest selling point is the GPU upgrade, it's still going to be AMD GCN or architecture, of course, but it's going from 18 compute units at 800 megahertz all the way up to 36 compute units at 911 megahertz. So the rumor mill is right now that it might be a Polaris based GPU, which is possible because I think Polaris and um, Polaris and I can't think of the name of Intel's new GPUs that are coming out. They, they are supposedly releasing June, May time, I mean, May, June time frame, which I doubt, but it's, it's possible. So all that was announced and the main reaction from a lot of gamers that I saw online was that, you know, Sony is dividing the user base. Sony is uh, uh, cheating their consumers, you know, by releasing a better product just three years into the life cycle. But the, the the last thing I've been hearing, only, well, the only excuse me, the only thing I've been hearing since this generation launched is that the PS4 and Xbox One is just so underpowered, right? So if they're underpowered, you know, basically comp company companies move by the demands of the consumers, right? The consumers wanted more power; they were complaining about how underpowered they were. So Sony answered with the PS4 Neo, right? So a couple of rules that I was reading about is is they're basically gonna have the exact same games, just one may may have better resolution, a better frame rate. That's it. Like the Neo can't have like certain features that the um, regular PS4 has, um, nor can it have like um, uh, like certain games that are on the Neo. That might not be on the PlayStation 4. They, they can't have any of that kind of stuff. Like, only thing they can do is improve what's already there. For example, if if a game has a uh, split screen, uh, like two way split screen co op or something like that, it can have four way uh, split screen co op. Or shit, I don't know if if a game is ah, fuck, I don't know. But anyway, basically, it's the exact same game. There will be no, there will be nothing on the Neo that's not on the base model PS4. So. I don't really understand like where the outrage in itself comes from. I know I'm stumbling over my words a lot, so excuse me. But I don't really understand like where the the the, the main brunt of you know of it comes from. You know, I understand you get a console, you think that's the piece of hardware that you're gonna have for like the next six or seven years. But if you really understand how fast hardware is moving, especially on PC, like there's no way the consoles can keep up. It's just impossible. So, so the current business model that our consoles can't last, it can't sustain itself that way. So they have to come up with some type of alternative. You know, Microsoft was talking about, you know, having an upgradable console. Sony chose the route of giving you a more powerful console. 
instead of you know upgrading one piece by piece because i mean if you if you're taking a console apart upgrading parts piece by piece you really might as well get you a pc you know but that's why i mean in in any other realm of electronics if you're an early adopter into something you can bet that right after this gonna be always always gonna be something better than what you have right i have a 2016 monster as soon as the 2017 Mazda 6 has come out, guess what? There's something else better than what I have. I'm not, I'm not gonna call Mazda and be like, hey, you know, I'm mad. You released a better version than what I have. That's just not how it works. That's not how it goes. You know, I have the S7 Edge, just got it. But I know in a couple of months, the Note 6 is gonna come out and completely blow this phone out of the water. It, it, it's the investment that you make being an early adopter into anything. You know, you know what I mean? And to me, it's no different than it being, you know, like a, like a, like you buying a fat PS4 and now it's only comes out with the slim PS4 or you bought the slim PS4. Now something comes out with the super slim PS4. I mean, more of the story is there's always going to be something better than what you have now, you know? And I understand that you guys were kind of excluded from that in, in the console realm, but these consoles cannot sustain where they're at now for a whole generation they just can't I mean come on now this game is barely hitting 1080p 30 frames per second especially on the xbox one with games rarely ever hit 1080p 60 or 1080p 30 frames per second unless it's like an xbox one exclusive right so you were complaining about power they gave you some more power and i don't know if microsoft's gonna do the same thing but i i'm pretty sure they will if if it succeeds for sony i'm pretty sure they will you know i mean to, to be honest, I think the main selling point of this PS4 is going to be like, not like 4K gaming because I have a 980 Ti and I can't get 4K gaming stable. So there's no damn way a $400 box is going to do what my $650 GPU can't do. You know what I mean? So I think it's more like uh, I, they haven't said if it's, if it's going to be if it's going to have support for the 4K, 4K Blu-ray, but I'm pretty sure it will. So I think it's more geared towards you know, hey, 4K streaming. Uh, some indie games at 4k and you know and, and things like that. I don't think gaming in 4k this gen Or this refresh with the ps4 neo is not gonna happen It's, it's gonna take at least two more years before even in even in the uh, Even in the PC realm Polaris and uh, I cannot think of what Nvidia's new GPU's name Polaris and what is it? Shit, I'm drawing a blank Pascal, okay, Polaris and Pascal. I don't think that the, even the new releases of Polaris and Pascal will be able to do 4K 60 all the time. I think it's gonna take whatever comes after Pascal and, um, I just had it in my name, Pascal and um, uh, Polaris. Then we might be able to get like 4K steady. You know, because I mean, I have a 980 Ti, and even at 1440p, I have some games dipping below 60. You know, so I don't think 4K gaming is even in the, the discussion right now. Kind of rambling, but you know. But anyway, I honestly don't see why that there should be any kind of backlash. And I mean, okay, if you just bought a PS4 like a month ago and then you're looking at something new coming out, I'd be kind of pissed off too. You know what I mean? But with in, in the electronic world, especially. There's always going to be something better than what you have. Always. Always. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe I'm not the right. I said this on Twitter. Maybe I'm not the right person to kind of talk about this because I'm, I'm a PC gamer. So I'm used to upgrading like every year. I upgrade for stupid reasons just because I can. I mean, come on. I went from a 4790K to a 6700K, which which made no sense. But I just like the latest and greatest. That, that's just, you know, and, and PC gaming is my hobby, you know, and I don't mind spending money on my hobby. You know, so maybe I'm not the right person to talk about this, but I'm used to upgrades and it's really no, you know, no big deal to me, honestly. But anyway, um, hit the like button if you agree with me, hit the dislike if you didn't, uh, leave a comment down below and, um, I'm gonna try to get more consistent with this again. I know I said this once before, but I'm gonna try to get a lot more consistent, especially once I figure out these audio issues and things like that. I'm going to try to get a lot more consistent with my uploads and things like that. So, anyway, I'm out.